Sri Mangesh, an incarnation of Lord Shiva, is the presiding deity at one of Goa's most prominent temples, Sri Mangesh Dev Sthanam at Pirol, Ponda, Goa. Sri Mangesh is the Kul Devta of Hindu God Sraswat Brahmins around the world. The history of Sri Mangesh dates back to the Puranas. Parshuram invited 66 Panch God Brahmins belonging to the 10 Gotras from Trihotra, Bihar to Kushasthar, now known as Kothal, for performing the Yajna after wiping out the Kshatriyas. Each group had brought with it idols they used to worship and installed it in villages donated by Parshuram out of the land reclaimed by him from the sea. Those belonging to the Vats and Kondinya Gotra received Kushasthil as Gamdhan and installed in the village their family deity, Sri Mangesh. The Purana explains that Brahma had established a Shivlinga at Mongir in Trihotra and it came to be known as Mangish or Mangirish. It is stated that when Parvati was in search of Shiva, she was scared at the sight of a tiger that was Shiva himself and shouted for help for him. However, instead of saying Trahimam Girish, she said Trahimangish out of fear and nervousness. Lord Shiva settled down in Kushasthal and Parvati in the neighboring villages. This temple at Kushasthal was a place of Hindu worship till the Portuguese took over this part of Goa in 1560. On the site of a temple now stands a church. In 1560, anticipating the onslaught to the Portuguese, the devotees moved Sri Mangeshi Shivlingam from Kothal to a safer place under a Hindu prince. Surrounded by hillocks and covered by forests, the Shivlinga was kept at a place which is now known as Mangeshi. The original site was a simple structure and the current structure was only built under the Maratha rule some 150 years after it had been moved. The Peshwas donated the village of Mangeshi to the temple in 1739. This temple too fell into Portuguese hands in 1763, but by then Portuguese had become quite tolerant to other religions and so this structure remained untouched. The 400-year-old Sri Mangeshi temple is a simple and elegant structure. There is a prominent Nandibul and a beautiful seven-story deep stumble which stands inside the temple complex. The temple also has a magnificent water tank which is believed to be the oldest part of the temple. The Sabhagre is a spacious hall which can accommodate over 500 people. The decor includes chandeliers from the 19th century. The central part of the Sabhagre leads to the Garbhagre where the image of Sri Mangesh is consecrated. From the holy Sri Mangesh Devsthanam, Ashish Negi, signing off.